Hi, everyone. Welcome to Learning How to Cook Caribbean with Larry Fenelier. Today we are going down under, and we have Josie Lasagna in the kitchen. She'll be doing something scrumptious, something from Sri Lanka, her, her, her native uh, place where she was born. Uh, but before we go to Josie, let's meet everybody in the peanut gallery. We have George Sepich. Hey, George. Hey, Larry. Glad to be here with all these uh, down under people. They're upside down. I'm not used to that, so it's, yeah. it's, it's kind of fun. <laughs> the awesome Aussie Posse. Then we have Josie. Hey, Josie. Hello. How are you doing? Jo oh, Josie, very good. <laughs> we, we, we're getting a, a little hum from your headset. Yes, I don't know yeah. how to get okay. rid of that, sorry. <laughs> all right, and then we have Kim Flowers. Hey, Kim. Good morning, all. <laughs> good morning to you. Good afternoon to us. Uh, <laughs> Linda D. from New York City. Hello. How are you? I'm great. I'm so happy to be here with all the Down Under people. Lovely, lovely. And uh, the other Down Under -er is Paul Platt, musician extraordinaire. Paul. G'day. How you going? Nice to be hanging upside down with you all. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and this broadcast is sponsored by Down Underwear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, next we have Richard Goldman. Hey everybody. Tony. Richard uh, lives minutes from, from my house actually. Nice to be here. <laughs> and then uh, last but not least, Rosie T. Good morning. Good morning. Good day. Who, who incidentally will be having something on Hangout Networks, which is a cooking show, right, Rosie? Oh, oh. Correct, yes. Yes. Um, the, so. com coming, coming, coming soon, um, Australian summertime, which is uh, right. in, ja in January or December? Yeah, December, January. Yeah, okay, cool, right. Okay, good. Now we'll be going back to the kitchen. And uh, Josie? Yes. Okay. Um, there's a lot of hum. Um, I can turn myself off, if you like, and just show you. <laughs> well, um, can you can you um, can you just speak into the uh, into the cam with without without a headset or? Oh, um, I'm not completely sure how to do that. Is that in like? Okay, well, Just let's like let's. Uh, apparently, it, it went for some reason. Okay, well, let's 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 get on with it. So, yeah. so Josie, um, what you'll be fixing for us today? Uh, well, I've I've prepared some eggplant mm -hmm. uh, with some turmeric and salt, and that's going to be deep fried, um, and then put in a sort of salad thing. Okay. Um, and while that's deep frying, I'm going to make a pork curry, um, which I've already put the spices in for. Um, yeah, and we're going to have it with rice and a little salad. Okay, what a, what, what's what's the name of that dish? The, the Sri Lankan pork name? Curry? Yeah, the pork, the pork and, the, and the... Sorry. Okay. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> pork curry is urumas, uh, Uruma. which just means pork meat, really, but... That, that's, what, that's what we call it. Okay. And then the eggplant is Vambatu Kiambula. Okay, great. Um, <laughs> folks, if you need a recipe, just go to my stream. And uh, the post I, I issued today has the link to the recipe that uh, that Josie will be preparing for us today. The, the two dishes. Okay. So, Josie. Awesome. Well, the oil is hot, so I'm going to... Mm -hmm plunge this in now. Um, okay. Can everyone see where the oil is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you could, okay, uh, good. yeah, just, just rearrange the uh, stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, while Josie is doing that, let me give you guys a look-see as, as to where she, where she is right now. Uh, everybody see my screen? Yes. Okay. Okay, we are in Australia, so let's dive in. Good day, mate. To Walla Wallagong. Wallangong. Wallangong. Okay. Uh, this is where 
Josie's cooking right now and the dish she's preparing is from Sri Lanka. She's Sri Lankan by birth so we're gonna take a little trip to see where Sri Lanka is in relation to Australia and we're gonna go back out it's on the other side of the globe as you can see right near this is India and this is Sri Lanka right here Josie, what's the capital of um, Sri Lanka? It's um, Sri Jawadhanapura Kote. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good, I don't know. Don't stress about that. It's like, yeah, yeah, that, 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 that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> if you just say it's Colombo, uh, it's Columbo, more yeah. or less the same. Yeah. Okay, Col Colombo is on the uh, southwest side. Um, yeah. the, the capital is where uh, in, in relation to Colombo? Oh, very close. It's only like uh, maybe like 10 k's away or something. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, nice country. Great. <laughs> It's got a it's got a lot of things in a small space. So it's got uh -huh. it's an island. So there's uh, beautiful tropical beaches and such. Um, yeah. And there's uh, in the sort of northeasterly area. There's uh, mm -hmm. dry places that um, used to be the the capital when uh, there were kings and they were ruling. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's uh, massive rainforests most of the middle area and middle area right around is, is, here is, is, is it yeah. warm is, is it warm year round yes it is except right in the center where it's uh, very mountainous and it gets mm. pretty cold there and sometimes okay. they have hail but very very rarely snow but um, okay. yeah it, it gets pretty cold okay okay cool I don't think there is um, street view in Sri Lanka so we won't be able to probably not to, to, not, to, not, to go not, gonna see, not gonna see any little Google cars, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, I, I I hear the pot sizzling. Yes. The um, oil. I had I had muted myself for when I actually put it in, but it was like. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I like okay. I like that sound you just made. It's kind of ninja like. <laughs> what was that? You just added. Um, uh -huh. That was vinegar. So in here, there's just um, pork, and then I put uh, salt, pepper, uh, chili powder, uh, roasted curry powder, which you can get from like Indian shops um, or Asian shops, and uh, what else? I put in lime juice, vinegar. And yeah, I think that's all. Everything else goes in when when I'm frying. Is it yeah. only white vinegar you can add, or can you add cider vinegar or balsamic? Is it only white vinegar you should add to that? Mm, I, I don't know how the taste would change if you add a different one, but um, I'm just going on how I've sort of seen my mum make it or have made it uh, what most vinegar? of my life. So yeah, we just use white. Um, but I was I was thinking I've used red wine vinegar for um, red meat. So w when I cook beef and stuff, um, I put red red wine vinegar, and that's that's nice too. Mm. But yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, incidentally, folks, uh, the Sri Lankan style of cooking is very similar to um, the, our cooking here in the Caribbean, because most of our well, actually forty percent of our population comes from East India. 50. And 50, 50%. 50 I stand corrected. All right. 50% <laughs> East Indian. All right. And, um, but Richard, Richard is of East Indian descent and uh, I, I am part East Indian. So, but, so Richard, the, the ingredients that, that Josie is using there is very similar to what very we similar. use here. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Um, especially with the, the way she's doing the curry pork. That is um that is a, a staple here. <laughs> I mean, when we go lime in, we have curry yeah. pork, we have jira, jira pork. Jira pork, or mm. for for those of you who do not know what jira is, jira is simply uh, cumin. Yeah, ground ground cumin we use, and we also use the uh, cumin seeds. Um, so yeah, the the, the cooking ingredients that uh, 
that Josie is using is very similar to, to what we have. And those of you who are now joining us, we are down under. We have a, a whole Aussie posse, awesome Aussie posse, Kim Flowers, Rose T, and Mr. Paul Platt, musician, and of course Josie is cooking. So let's go back to see what Josie's doing. She has some uh, lovely uh, eggplant. We call it melangin here. Some of you might call it aubergine. She has it in some hot oil, and she's uh, frying it, right, Josie? Yeah, deep frying it. Right. Okay. Um, so if you can see now, it's um, getting a little browner. Um, but it has to go. It has to go darker before I take it out. Mm. Okay. And uh, what she has covered in the uh, wok is is some beef. Sorry, pork. Pork. Oh, yeah. We just. Mm. I just said pork. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Senior, senior moment. A senior moment. You senior might. Moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I think Larry's doing that on purpose because the lamb last week was pork and this yeah, week pork is yeah. beef. Oh, <laughs> it's only, I think it's only a senior moment if you say something wrong and somebody else corrects you and then you're like, what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> last week, last week we were cooking um, lamb and I kept saying pork, pork. And then somebody in the hangout said, yeah, you sound like you're pig-headed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, then I was, then I was kidding with you, and I said, "Yeah, next week, you'll, whatever you're cooking, you'll be saying the opposite." It was it, and, oh, and <laughs> we, we, when this happened in Trinidad, we say um, you give the person goat mouth. So um, <laughs> they g definitely gave me goat mouth, meaning that I will s eventually screw up again. But <laughs> that's what makes this so fun. You know, everything is relaxed and uh, absolutely. And laid back, uh, Juicy. Yes. Okay. Um, let's take a look at the um, at the pork. Mm -hmm. And and tell us what um, what's actually. How long? How long you 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 gonna cook that for? Um, well, I just gotta cook till it's um, fully cooked through. So there's still little pink bits and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So when that's cooked through, I'm going to put in some coconut cream. Okay, good. good. Um, and what, once that goes in, you can't cook it anymore. Or like if if it boils with the coconut cream, you get this little. Um, uh, like it becomes all, uh, I don't know, there's like sediment in it, mm -hmm. um, which isn't, uh, it tastes more or less the same, but like it just doesn't look appetizing. Um, so after you put the coconut cream in, you got to keep it on low. Um, and then when that, that's all mixed through, I'm actually going to transfer mm -hmm. this to another bowl. Um, mm -hmm. And then in the same wok, I'm going to fry some um, onions. Uh, oh, cool. Just, just brown onions yeah. and uh, garlic and ginger and um, I've got here in my mortar and pestle uh, some cardamom and cinnamon and uh, cloves and uh, coriander seeds so, which I've crushed up. Okay, so everybody goes back into the pool. Yes, so yes. that stuff um, gets fried a little bit and when it's mm. all fragrant, oh and I also put some curry leaves. Um, in Sri Lanka, everyone has curry leaves and rampe in their garden, so nobody buys it in, in uh, a box like really? this. Ho hold, it, but, um, ho hold it up to the cam. Hold it up to the cam so so folks at home can see it. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Wow, we, curry leaves, yeah. Huh? Curry leaves, yeah. Rich, we have a tree similar here that... Um, yeah, I've seen something similar. Yeah, yeah. We, we have a slight variation of, of those leaves um, that we also put in our curry. So, like I said, the, the, the cooking is, is very similar. Um, are you going to be putting any heat in it, Josie? I have got a chili over here, and mm -hmm. there's already chili powder in there. Right. But I'll put the chili in with the with the frying as well. It's a dried chili, so it's a bit uh, spicier. I find dried chili is spicier than fresh chilies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we use um, scotch bonnet peppers in our... Um, Okay. In our curry. 
Yep. Can't yep. wait to get my scotch bonnets growing, Larry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> George George ordered some scotch bonnets uh, about two weeks ago. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 So he's um, <laughs> he's he's a he's a frog catcher. He's a scotch bonnet grower. Uh, <laughs> this guy does everything. Yeah, froggery just amazes me, George. Uh, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know froggeries existed. I thought shrubbery was the funniest word in the c- category, but you've you've outdone that. I, I have to give Linda Linda D credit for the froggery word. I believe. I the frogs. I just gave a name to it as the froggery. Mm-hmm. So L- Linda. Got a goosery too. <laughs> Linda is quite a wordsmith. Well, she is. You. Thank so, you. Paul, are you going to entertain us for just a smidgen while the pots are being, while the contents are being Ooh. cooked? I'll just play some background music if you like. Just yeah, yeah, just to uh, yeah, lighten it up a little bit. Yeah, a, a little, a little ditty. <laughs> Doesn't have to be about Jack or, or Diane. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, Rosie. How, how are you doing down there? You're awfully quiet. You're still waking up? Yeah. <laughs> I'm watching. <laughs> I'm watching and learning. Good. Yeah, yeah. You going to try it, Rose? Mm. Um, I do. I have started to dabble in curries. Um, I never really did curries before, but um, the kids are growing up and they're taking spicier foods now. So. Mm-hmm. Oh, great. I do like I do like a nice curry and I love pork, so this is good mm-hmm. for me. What what sort of, what kind of pork is that, Josie? Uh, just the kind from Woolies. Uh, mm. <laughs> um, is it I pork? Think... Is it pork belly with the fat removed, or is it? Um, no, I haven't neat? removed the fat. Um, it comes in those uh, steaks about this size, and it's got like a large, thick um, rind. Kind of thing. So, um, so it's that's 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 usually from the um from the shoulder they've they've cut in in steaks. Okay. Yeah. Shoulder yeah. is, is yeah. slow. Is it a mm. slow cooking meat or a fast meat? No. Well, actually, as she, as she cut it up there, it's it's going to cook pretty fast. Pork pork in, by itself is 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 a very fast cooking uh, meat. Jo- Josie, has has all the oink been removed? <laughs> no, no, it hasn't because I wanted to make it um, as authentic as possible. <laughs> okay, all right. So, so you you left the oink in. <laughs> yes. No, but um, in in Sri Lanka, it's hard to get good quality meat for cheap. Meat is really expensive, and a lot of people actually um, uh, sort of resort to vegetarianism. Uh, except mm. like you know, one day a week or something, they'll have meat, and that's uh, sort of a treat. Mm. Um, so even when you do buy meat, it's really fatty and uh, probably not very good for you. But that's what I remember from my childhood. Like pork was my favorite because it would have these big, like <laughs> chunks of fatty oh, fat. stuff on it. They're yeah. all the yeah. parts, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Uh, before uh, Josie got to the um, to the to the oil, there she put something into the into the pot um, in, into the uh, Walk, uh, Josie. That, that that was um, milk, coconut, coconut milk, cream. Coconut, coconut cream. cream. Right. Yeah. yeah. Good. Oh, that's gonna give some excellent flavor there. Mm. Yep. And uh, the little music you're hearing in the background is some Mr. Paul Platt. Please. Little background music. I can't really hear it. Neither do I. Um, Just strumming his guitar. Yeah. Okay. Very nicely. I'm, 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 I'm hearing it. I, I guess with me having the headset on, it's, it's yeah. going across the real. Yeah. 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 Oh, now I do. He's excellent. Yeah. Paul Paul creates a lot of great music. Uh, composer and songwriter and performer. He's awesome. So. Okay, Josie, she just removed it off the um, off the heat. Yeah, I'm just transferring it. All right. Mm-hmm. 
is actually heaps easier to do in a walk. I should try this more often. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the, the good thing about walks, they heat up like that. Yeah. They heat up very quickly. And um, people observing outside, uh, you're cooking on gas, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. I love cooking on gas. It's, it's more efficient. Yeah. Okay. And you're putting a little... Oil? oil? Is that, uh, olive oil. That was olive, olive oil? oil. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. Oh, nice. And those are the onions you just put in? Mm -hmm. Cool. How long will the, uh, will the onions take? You just kind of saute them in oil? Yeah, yeah so, just until they're like... They're like translucent. Yeah. yeah. And then when when it gets translucent, I'm sure she's going to add the other ingredients. Is that is that yeah. how you do it? Yeah. Yes, um, because the onions take a bit longer than everything else. So the garlic, right. uh, ginger, the things I chopped up in the um, I'm just going to cover this. Yeah. Um, the things I chopped up in the mortar and pestle. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. and the curry leaves and a little bit of grated nutmeg. Mm. Mm. Nice. Yeah, that's going to have some wicked flavor. Folks, just a little nutmeg goes a long way. <laughs> try it. Try it next time you, you, you cook. Just take some nutmeg or a nutmeg grate, about maybe a teaspoon. Yeah, or, or, or yeah, or, or, or a tablespoon. Well, a tablespoon might be too much. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I love I love nutmeg. Uh, but a, but a, but a teaspoon will work. A teaspoon will go a long way. Josie, that eggplant yep. that you're deep frying, that's still yeah. really low heat. I have been turning it up and down, um, but it does long to turn cook, um, longer than you'd expect it to. Um, and also, I want it to be like browner. Like this is, it's cooked. You can eat it like this, but um, I want it brown because that's how we normally make it. Hey, 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 Josie, it seems like you really have a lot of cooking. Uh, uh, when did you first start uh, cooking? Was that at an early age, or uh, when did you get the passion for cooking? Um, well, <laughs> uh, in Sri Lanka, it's, um, if, if you're a girl, uh, there's like this rite of passage where your mom teaches you um, the basics okay. um, of cooking, and that's normally like 11 or 12 okay. um, years old. Uh, but um, in my family it just so happened that we, we moved to Dubai and when I first moved it was with my dad and my mom stayed in Sri Lanka mm -hmm. um, so, and that was exactly when I was uh, about 11 or 12 so I missed that um, getting taught um, mm -hmm. the, the proper way of doing things according to my mom Okay. Um, oh, that smells so good. I'm just good. creating this nut. This nutmeg. nutmeg. Yeah, yeah. Um, Lovely. Uh, yeah. So great. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. So I miss I missed out a little bit on on that, but then um when she joined me, which was about a year later, she was like, right, we're going to do this properly. But I had already like formed all these cooking habits, uh, with uh, from living with my dad, um, sort of quick fix things, and you know. Uh, <laughs> just eggs right. and uh, cucumber salad and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so I didn't really, I didn't learn it perfectly. Or like mm -hmm. I, w when I cook Sri Lankan, I don't cook it the authentic way. Like this isn't how I normally cook it. But I asked my mom for the recipe for this one and stuff. Okay. Um, but, yeah, but yeah, like I think I've always. You your own style then. Yeah, but I think it's it's because I've always had an interest in like growing up seeing my mom and my grandma cook all the time and they enjoy it and I think as a child do you get more out of what you see right. rather than what you're told? Right, exactly. Um, yeah, and both my mom and my grandma really love cooking and they love, you know, making yeah. their own recipes and stuff. So, yeah. jo Josie, yeah. uh, there, there's a question in the chat uh, regarding the, the eggplant that's... Um, that's in the oil. Yeah. Is is that going to get oil soaked? With, well, with I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it on like uh, a plate with um, paper towel on it, mm -hmm. 
um, and leave it to cool and that's gonna like absorb most of the oil. Um, but yeah, it's cooking great. Like that's what it's supposed to look oh, like. Oh, okay. But okay. a little browner. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Lovely. Larry, can I ask you a question on the nutmeg? Yes. I've only ever really used nutmeg in, and this is going to sound really lame, um, <laughs> in my porridge. Um, I've never really thought about it using it past, I guess, baking, you know, like mm -hmm. that kind of cooking. What other things is nutmeg really good to complement? Like, is it a meat type thing? Like, because I have no idea. Well, you, you could use nutmeg in just about anything. I, I sometimes use nutmeg in rice. When I'm, when I'm cooking rice, I take a teaspoon and I drop it in the water along with cinnamon. It goes mm -hmm. well with cinnamon. It pairs well with cinnamon. Okay. And try that in your porridge. Get a stick of cinnamon and a teaspoon of nutmeg and just let it, you know, cook on the stove. How we normally yeah. prepare your, your, your porridge. Yeah, yeah, and, by the stove, yeah. yeah. And remove, remove the stick of uh, cinnamon after everything is done. Taste that. You will okay. be pleasantly surprised. You, <laughs> <Get it. laughs> you, you, you could even you, you could even put nutmeg on, on cocktails. Especially Ouch. especially rum. When you when you if you if you make a rum cocktail. <laughs> now if, that you mention it. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right now, also, you got me, now, now you got me excited about nutmeg. <laughs> I'm nutmeg. Also um, nutmeg in um, in corning silver side, you know when you make corned beef? Oh, and you can right. put uh, black peppercorns and the bay leaf and the cloves. Um, yeah. Some nutmeg into uh, into the water uh, for it to simmer in. Um, oh, also okay. gives it, yeah, a, it a depth. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I've only ever used it in, in baking like sweets and desserts and that mm -hmm. kind of thing. I never, never thought. And Rose, do you know if we can get the fresh nutmeg in Melbourne and where I would yeah. look for it? Yeah, we can. We can get. Them. I'm pretty sure um, you should be able spice, to. You can actually, if you look in the spices section, you'll be able to buy the the nutmeg, the fresh nutmeg. Okay. Like Tasty, I think Tasty actually bag it. Um, you can go to. Uh, there's a few stores around you, specialty stores you can you can go to, but it's readily available. Okay. Cool. You just probably never. Thank you. Looked for it, so you've never seen it. <laughs> no, no. Well, that's exactly right. Yeah. And I love trying new things out. Um, and I'm sometimes sure. they don't always work, but no, it's a good flavour sensation to um, to add to your repertoire because it's um, it's diverse. It's a good one. It's like cumin. Cumin's the same thing. Not the same as nutmeg, but it's another spice that can be used in more ways than you think you can use it. Cool. Thanks, guys. <laughs> no problem. No problem. I'm telling you, Kim, after you use nutmeg, nut, nutmeg will be your friend. <laughs> it will be your friend, trust me. And it smells so yummy when you use it. It's like, mmm, yum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's... It always reminds me of Christmas, Kim. I, when I smell cinnamon and nutmeg, it reminds me of Christmas. Always. Once you get to be such uh, close friends with nutmeg, you can just call her Meg. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to find a cocktail that has not made it now, George. <laughs> All right. Like I said, um, if if you if you drink rum, uh, rum lends itself well with uh, with nutmeg. Coconut Any? milk, nutmeg. Yeah, coconut milk, nutmeg. It's great. Okay, so so the pork's um, mm -hmm. let me wait. Yes, the pork's done. Um, mm -hmm. So just um, I fried up those onions and all the other things, and there's the curry leaves. Uh, in Sri Lanka, we leave the curry leaves in, uh, but you can take them out if you don't want to eat them. Um, but yeah, my mom says it's good for everything. It's good for a cold. It's good for um, <laughs> I don't know cholesterol. <laughs> <laughs> Um, also, with um, pork curries, uh, mm. you can make it. You can make the gravy as thick as you want it, or as mm -hmm. thin. So, like you know, the amount of water I put when I started, and the amount of coconut cream I put, right. is just um, how I like it. But say, if you wanted heaps of this gravy stuff, 
um, you can put more or cook it uh, like off, after the meat is cooked, you can cook it less. Like I cooked it slightly more so that it's a bit thicker. Yeah. I like it that way. But It looks good. Yeah. It looks real good. And what's <laughs> why I like using coconut milk too in, in dishes like this. Even though she, she had the, the ground chili and she put in a, a whole chili, that coconut mm. milk will tone down the heat. Because milk on, on a whole, if, if you if for some reason you, you eat too much pepper and you drink a glass of milk, it would cool yeah, it down. True. You know, so um, using using coco and, and coconut milk adds adds tremendous flavor. A tremendous flavor to, to food. Again, when I cook with rice, I would put some coconut milk in it along with the nutmeg, along with the cinnamon, with the bay leaf. Oh. And I guess, were they the Badeze eggplant or just the normal eggplants? Um, these are, I don't know, I think they're called baby eggplants, so they're longer and uh, more cylindrical, so they're not like a massive ellipse. If you mm. know what I mean. Yeah. So as you as you take it out there, you put it, you put it to sit, and then you add that to your salad. Yes. So I've got um, some uh, Spanish onions cut into rings. Mm -hmm. uh, Where's that? There it is. Right here. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to grate some lemon rind. Um, and I don't know. You, you can put tomato in it, but I'm not going to. Yeah. <laughs> um, that, that, yeah. is, that, is oh, almost, that is almost like a chat. What's a chat? Chat, a chat salad that you get in India. Again, um, like potatoes. Be, with, with potatoes, you can put potatoes. You can put uh, cucumber, tomatoes, uh, chickpeas. Um, it, it's it's mostly served like in northern India. But that's where mm -hmm. it started out, out on the street. Um, so I can see where the, 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 the resemblance of, of that dish, you know, comes from. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Yeah. So um, for the eggplant, uh, we put uh, a dressing of um, a little bit of white vinegar and sugar. Mm -hmm. um, so you put, I don't know, like a few, a few teaspoons of vinegar, and that'll cut, cut through the oil, won't it? Um, probably. <laughs> you just yeah. just leave it to. Yeah. You can you can put some pepper salt on top as well and just like soak it up. Yeah. But yeah, in Sri Lanka, this is unfortunately the only way we cook. Um. Eggplant, like even though it's such a versatile <laughs> vegetable, we always do fried. <laughs> you, you could, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a healthier way too. Um, just put it in a cookie sheet, cut it up, cube it up, put it in a cookie yeah. sheet, drizzle some olive oil on it, uh, some sea salt, black pepper, stick it in the oven for about uh, 20, 25 minutes at uh, 400 degrees. Yeah. Um, you have roasted, roasted eggplant. Mm. And you could always yeah, sprink sprinkle it. sprinkle some um, parmesan or, or one of your favorite cheeses over that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I love it in so many different ways. An Indian friend of mine actually showed me how she makes it in a curry, curry, um, yeah. just uh, cubed and with sort of the all the yellow spices, the cumin and the coriander mm -hmm. and turmeric and stuff. Yeah, we like, also wow. yeah we, we also <laughs> do it um, down here called um, um, curry curry bygone, right, Richard? Yep. That's right. Yeah, our, our name for it is Bygan eggplant. Yeah. Bygan oh, wow. or, or, or melangen. Or melangen, yeah. Melangen. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. That looks really good. Fortunately, I had something before the show, so I'm not, <laughs> I'm not drooling. I'm not drooling. Thank you, Paul. Paul's background music is amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm just sort of like, Sway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kim, I'm so glad that you you were able to join us today. I know it's early for you. 
And, um, <laughs> Especially since I had a late night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad you're here. And Rosie, I'm oh, glad nice. you're here too. Thank you. Thank you for the invite. Yeah. No problem. So Josie, what's that you you just? Uh, I just grated some lime rind uh-huh. into the eggplant. Okay. And some onion rings, and then that's an ugly one. <laughs> I'm gonna pour this. Um, I've got a little dressing pot thing that I just mixed up the. Um, Vinegar and the sugar in. Okay. Just gonna pour that over. And I've got some rice here that I prepared earlier. (laughs) It's uh, cooked in coconut milk. Sorry, coconut oil, not coconut milk. (laughs) Coconut oil? So I, I cooked it in a rice cooker separately um, a while ago and then because um, I don't eat very much rice so I put it in the fridge or the freezer um, and then when you even after you warm it up in the microwave it's not as fluffy as like the newly made rice so mm-hmm. I just put like a little bit of coconut oil and I toast some um, silvered almonds not silvered almonds flaked almonds mm-hmm. um, and then I put the rice in there and it, it's just really fragrant and soft and awesome that sounds delicious that looks good, Josie. It's like a, fri- it's a fried rice. It's beautiful. Yeah. Got some pork. Okay. And that's a good way to do this. I'll put this over here. Oh, uh, we need we need to see your pretty face too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> During the show, we, we just saw your hands, but your hands were, were creating a lovely dish. <laughs> oh, yeah. There there it is. And I'll just get some. And that's a, a, a pre made salad? Yes. Yeah, so this has got. Um, this isn't very Sri Lankan, but um, <laughs> it's got. Um, Chinese cabbage, wambok, and um, uh, capsicum, and uh, what's the the red thing? With it's white inside. Uh, radish. 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 Correct. <laughs> well done. I love wambok. It's beautiful. Yeah, wambok's great. It's so sweet. You can eat it raw. You can cook it. It's beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's very good. It looks very good. That was lovely. I can bring it up for everyone to see. Voila. It's lovely. <laughs> lovely, Josie. Lovely, lovely. Um, I'm not sure what to do with it now. Do you have anybody there to taste it? Your roommates? Have uh, I don't know. I, I doubt it. I think most of them have gone out <laughs> for All the right. day. Well, well <laughs> taste it. it. Taste it and tell us how good it tastes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm sure it tastes amazing. That's lunch for today, Jesse. Yes. <laughs> that's that's breakfast for you, right? <laughs> yeah. It's almost nine o'clock in the morning. Mm. Mm. Me, I'm, I'm getting hungry now. Yeah, I was just about <laughs> to say that. <laughs> just watching it eat. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> mm. That's really good. Does it tastes like mom's. It tastes like mom's? Can't hear you, Jesse. The pork uh, isn't as spicy as mom's, but um, <laughs> everything else is the same. The taste is exactly the same. Oh, which great. Is good. <laughs> yeah. Good, good. Well, you could always add um, add pepper sauce to that, you know. Here in Trinidad, we put some pepper sauce on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, right, Richard? Hot sauce. Yeah. Hot sauce. Pepper sauce. Pepper yeah. Sauce. Trinidad. Trinidad. Trini sauce. Yeah, Trini, Trini Daddy sauce. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, folks, um, it's been a pleasure to see Josie cook in the kitchen. Uh, the dish looks wonderful. 
I'm sure it tasted as good as it looks. Cooked <laughs> by you. Uh, George, thank you. Kim, thank you for joining us. Linda, Paul, your playing was right on, 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 on the money. Richard, Thank thanks. You. You're welcome. Rose, thank you, my dear. Um, You're welcome. We, we have a lot coming on Hangout Networks. We have a lot more cooking shows coming up uh, next week. Uh, there's the Japanese cooking on Friday morning, um, my time, which is PM in, in Japan. That's Chef Fumio. Uh, that's coming. We have uh, Cajun cooking coming. We have uh, organic food cooking coming. We have a lot of new shows coming up right here on Hangout Networks and um, brought to you by uh, yours truly. Oh, George, I forgot. You have something coming up too, don't you? George is asleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I, I, I hope that's not a sign of... of... Yeah. <laughs> oh, George. George. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, no offense, Josie, he wasn't bored by your cooking. So, I know. Just, <laughs> make the Skype noise he'll wake up. Do it, Larry. Yeah. Uh, just the Skype. <laughs> make, make the noise, Linda. I can't. You call him. I don't know his Skype. I, I, I don't <laughs> know. Do it. It's really funny. Yeah. Um, but he has a show coming called the, um, the Pirates. The Pirate Cove, the Pirate Bay. Pirate Cocktails? Yeah, where, where we're doing cocktails Pirate and pub. food. Pirate's Pirate. Pub. <laughs> Pirate's Pub. The yeah. Pirate Pub. Pirate Pub, and it's on. It's going to be Fridays, the, starting the 28th of this month, uh, about 6 p.m. Central uh, Eastern Time, where we'll be trying different cocktails from starting here in the, in the in the Caribbean region in Trinidad and that's going up the islands because that's where the pirates um, ran 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 their, their their business so um, we'll be hopping from island to island mixing drinks and eating food uh, finger food bar food and we would like everybody to join us and, and just have a good old time. And there'll be gifts and little prizes and little things. Things that usually go on in a bar, we'll be we'll be doing that um, on the show. Even, so, even, um, even the bar fights? Pardon? Even the bar fights? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're not going to be fighting. No way. Well, no. No, no, I, I, I don't think we'll be doing any fighting in, in the hangout. Okay. <laughs> you know, smashing the glasses on each other's heads. That's, that's <laughs> well, it, it's, it's going to be a heavily pirated theme um, <laughs> hangout. So every, everybody will be wearing pirate gear and, and, and the whole yeah. night. So, but anyway, uh, that's coming up. So, Josie, my dear, yeah. thank you very much. And no problem. We are going to have you back on, I'm telling you. <laughs> yes. Because um, Sri Lankan food is is very interesting it's very close to, to, to Caribbean cooking yes it looks Caribbean doesn't it yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's very close to Caribbean cooking so but you just had a little bit of like um some like a scotch bonnet a little here and a little there and yeah. maybe some okra or something green in there yeah yes so Josie are you are you, are you game game for that oh definitely <laughs> right good nice so you have it here folks Josie will be back. <laughs> I will be back next week Sunday. We have um, new guests, exciting foods, the whole nine, and the other cooking shows will be will be will be coming out. I will be sending out posts regarding those. So stay tuned and thanks for coming. Bon appetit, everyone. See ya. Thanks again, Josie. Yeah. No Bye. 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 Yeah.